Okay. My name is Sage. She's our today's guest, like I said before, showing that visual right there. Hey, Sage, welcome on the show. Welcome on the show. Thank How are you doing? Thank you so much for having me. How are you Hello, doing? Cynthia. How are you Friday. doing? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. Amazing song, amazing visual right there, and uh, I love the fact that you knew who to pick or put in the song. Yeah. The collaboration also, Triple mm -hmm. M, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Bala t mm -hmm. Maybe let's start it from that side. Your brand new song just dropped. Uh, let's talk about the collaboration, when you are picking on which artist to work with. Did you like do your research? For sure, for okay. sure. Um, I've been around Zambian music for a very long time, and um, the industry just on the low key. And I've really been listening to artists and I thought they were the best pick for the song. Their voices matched the vibe perfectly and they both brought uh, like amazing things to the song. So, mm. yeah. Initially you're from Australia. Yes. And you've been in Zambia for five years. Yes. How come I'm just getting to know you now? Mm. What have you been up to? Um, I've been back and forth. Um, I think being an upcoming artist is really difficult and it's really you have to push a lot to get your name out there. I think by the time a lot of these upcoming artists are now finding the light, they have been pushing for five, ten years by mm. the time they're mm -hmm. getting their time. So it's just about time. Um, my time will come eventually. Let's talk about you being in Zambia for five years and yes. the industry mm -hmm. and your experience. How has it been for you? Um, it's been interesting, I'll say, um, but we have so much talent in our industry. I think I'm just blessed and lucky to be here and be surrounded by so many talented artists and lots of female talented artists. We have very good female talent in Zambia. Mm -hmm. But from, from, from your own analysis mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, from what you've seen, mm -hmm. where do you feel we need to work on more uh, compared to maybe the things that you have seen that mm -hmm. you feel like if we were to do this, this is what is going to get us international? Um, I think we need to have more of a pushing each other up mentality just with everyone i feel like there's always competition whether it's from the fans where they want to push two people against each other we need to have this thing of let's all succeed together not just one against each other like let's all succeed together let's all push each other let's all become international mm. yeah. your stage name uh yes. why the sage said it actually comes from my last name so okay. it's just a shortened version of my last name which is? Sejanary. Okay. Yes. So I've been pretty much called Sej my whole life, and I was like, you know what, may as well use it as my rap name. Mm. Yeah. So before coming in Zambia, mm -hmm. uh, in Australia, the mm -hmm. industry right there, I know you just can't wake up one day and just say I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. There's always some inspiration right there as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe let's talk about the inspiration when you were, like, what made you to get in the industry? I just felt like I need to also do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so pretty much I've been surrounded by music my whole life. You know, I did the whole choir thing in school. I wasn't very a very good singer. Um, but I've always been surrounded by music. I played the flute when I was growing up, the piano. I just loved music, but I never really saw um, rapping as a career because it was never really a talked about career or a career path in school. Um, so, you know, I just decided to have a gap year from going to university. I was actually going to go study teaching mm -hmm. and I decided, um, let me go on a holiday, uh, let me go uh, travel so I was like let me go to Zambia uh, came here loved the country so much the culture um, I met a lot of musicians um, I was in Livingston at the time um, and I loved it so much I when I went back to Australia I worked really really hard um, worked about five jobs um, and then I COVID hit I found passion in writing and that's how my music started just because you know the world shut down pretty much mm. and then i just decided you know what well, i love zambia so much i want to move there so let me just 
pursue my music career from there. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 like you struggled to work to even work five jobs? Yeah, I was working five how, jobs how at one you point. Ma- managing all those like Um <laughs> not very well, I'll tell you that. Like, like allocating not a lot the time sleep. which one supposed to come first. So yeah, it would be pretty much like uh from nine AM to uh midday I'd work one job, then from that time till nine PM I'd work another job, then I'd work an overnight job. Um, some jobs would only be on the weekend, so I would have a schedule, but it was very tight. I I'd found myself like sleeping in my car between jobs. Mm. Like it was a very it was a very tough time, but you know we 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 have to hustle. Nice. We have to hustle. Yeah. You are in Zambia now. Yeah. You brought us an amazing song. That's not just your first song. I was mm-hmm. also checking out your YouTube channel. There are other songs Thank that you've you done, also amazing yeah. songs right there. Appreciate it. You're not just an artist, uh-huh. but you can write your own. Sure music do. yes <laughs> let's talk about that yes uh, sure. the writing it's a mm-hmm. gift it's a skill that mm-hmm. most people i feel like they should also embrace on of course and celebrate yeah. themselves uh let's talk about your writing mm-hmm. what motivates you when you're writing a song uh it depends um really on the situation the environment uh the vibe of the song sometimes i just hear a beat and straight away i can be like I, I already know what I want on this other times I'll hear a beat and I'll you know sit on it for a while because I'm waiting for that inspiration to come whether it be just you know sometimes the lyrics just come to my head other times I could be watching a video and I'm like oh this really inspires me for a song anything like I think inspiration can come from anywhere mm. if you just look for it I think okay yeah. I also want to go find out from you uh, in line with uh, streaming platforms yeah. uh, already you have a, br- a, a brand new song Batman yeah. Mm-hmm. Where can people find it? Where can people access it? On all platforms, um, but please go watch the video on YouTube. Um, it was shot by ERT and K Blaze. It was a, just an amazing production. I think we had a lot of fun making it. Mm. But yes, it can be found on all platforms, I think. I'm pretty sure, fingers crossed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I you hope think, so, you know. <laughs> you think, who's, who's managing your, your streaming platform? Um, I'm using TuneCore, so. Okay. Yeah. So they say distributes on all platforms, you know, you hope so. Okay. Just but, gotta but, 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 I gotta go check. But, but, but yeah, it's got all the big platforms, platforms. Yeah. Spotify, Apple Music, all of that. This is like that we've been asking a lot of yes. artists where are, you're putting your music on streaming platforms, uh-huh. but are you doing follow-ups to find out how much you're making, how many people are streaming your stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for sure, especially with my YouTube, I am very, every day I'm checking, every hour even. Okay. Yeah. Just gotta check the stats, the comments, just make sure it's doing all right. Mm. Respond to the love. Okay. Yeah. How about the negative? The negative is always <laughs> going to be there. The negative is always going to be are, there. Are we it's, ready for such negative vibes? It, it is hard sometimes accepting that, you know, there are going to be negative comments out there. But, you know, I think with time you learn to get a thick skin and just it's, it's, not, it's not my, you know what I mean? Don't take it on. Just if they want to be negative, they can be negative. Leave that energy there. I don't want that energy. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's all about positivity. Respond to the people that give you that love and just leave the negativity there. Mm. Unless it's criticism. Criticism's all all good, but negativity, I just, bad energy, stay away. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so who are we maybe hoping or expecting from you this year, collaborating with? Oh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see about that. I'm just hoping to collaborate with as many artists as I possibly can. Um, I just... There's just so much talent. I just want to really work with everyone, to be honest. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, okay. there will be there will be lots of clubs coming up. Don't worry. A quick stop uh, yeah. before we get to let you go. There's another song that I want you to react and give us your opinion. Sure uh, thing. You can rate it and give it your honest oh, opinion. Of course. Uh, if we can go straight up to mm-hmm. uh, Ain Chawama's brand new song, uh, I would like our today's guest to give her honest reaction or opinion okay. on the song. Uh, right here on Yatu Vibes, we can go to that Ain Chawama song. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Back on the social, back on the social media. Story ni lelo, never been a quitter. Bambiri ba mane na bati, ba ma benefit ani kankala ni matamba tawa. Moli. This is a song that we're talking about right there, all the way from M Chawama. Uh, speaking about social media, and uh, we are giving uh, uh, Sage to get to give us our honest opinion. We love opinion that are honest. So of you course. can give us your opinion regarding the song and also the visual. Um. Wow. Earn. Uh, that was really, really dope. Uh, the visuals were insane. 
melody is really good and the message was really powerful so yeah i think it was really dope mm. very very dope okay yeah but is there any way where you feel like you would have done better not with the song no uh just just work on promoting it, I think that's okay. it. yeah. It's a dope song. Very dope, very good visual. Let's talk, let's talk about um, I want us to get find out. Let's talk about mm-hmm. promotion. Okay. I love the fact that you have brought it in. Sure. Do you artists understand the power of promotion? Mm-hmm. Uh, for some reason, for some people, just feel like I don't need to promote my song. I'm all good. I live away. I'm moving. Mm-hmm. Everything is okay. Mm-hmm. I love the pace of where you're moving right now because you are doing a tour. Mm-hmm. Starting from radio, TV, you're trying to push your song out there. Why do you feel like it's very important? Um, it's important to establish a base. Um, you know, I mean, the song was talking about social media, but social media is a good platform for artists to get their music out. But it's also important to have a base where you get your music out on radio, where you get your music out on TV. Not everyone is going to have social media. Not mm. everyone is going to listen to the radio. So they, you need to have it on every platform, everywhere accessible, mm-hmm. so that anyone and everyone can access your music. Yeah. That's the, like, everyone's online these days, so there will be one way or another where someone will be able to access your music. Nice. Yeah. Zambia are watching, as we call it, to rap right now on Yato Vibes. Uh, any requests that you have to tell them, you are... Current right now pushing your music. Yes. Uh, is there anything that you want to ask or maybe request from them saying, please, I want you to do this for me in this music industry that I'm in? Just uh, be kind. <laughs> okay. Please be kind. That's about the only thing I can ask. But yeah, yeah it's just uh, I love the community and I think, yeah, we've got so much talent here. It's just mm. be nice to each other and help each other up. Nice. Yeah. It was good having a conversation with Thank you, right? You really appreciate it.